Hello and welcome to Zach Season, a Gotham Production Studios original podcast. My name is Suki. I'm Dominique. I'm Danielle. And I'm Autumn. We're here to debate our office's most unpopular and completely meaningless opinions. And my zag is this. People disrespect service workers so much in hospitality. I think that everybody, especially in New York City, should be mandated to work at least three to six months in the service world. I don't care if it's you're a waiter. I don't care if you're a busser. I don't care if you're a host, a dishwasher, everyone. Oh, a retail, a retail worker, any of that. I think mm. everyone should be mandated to do that. New York City would be nicer and everyone would treat each other better. I think you need to bump that up to a year and then I'm in. I was going to say that. <laughs> but, I, but honestly, I don't think most people can handle six no. months, even six months of doing that kind of job. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I think you're very right. And I think you can tell a lot about a person about how they treat service workers, like your waiter and stuff like that. Isn't that usually like a thing on people for uh, when they go on first dates? Yeah. Yeah, always. Yeah. Right? You can't even show up for your best self on first date. Right. What are you going to do when yeah, you're in a bad like, mood? Right. Yeah. You know what I want to add to your Zach? I mm -hmm. think that not even just hospitality, also like a taxi driver or an Uber driver yes, because... Yes. Some of my friends, and I won't name names, but you know who you are, are like so rude. And they'll be like, wait, we should go. You're going the wrong way. These taxi drivers have lived in New York City their entire, like they know the New York better than you know right, New York. Right, right, right. So yeah. there's no reason to be questioning what they're doing because nine out of 10 times, they are correct. Right. And there's no, re no reason for you to be rude. And they also need a break because I heard that they don't know where they're going until they get to you. Mm. That's what I heard. And I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, you mean like when they come and they, pick you yeah, up? Yeah, they don't know their destination until they pick right. you up. Right. Oh, that's interesting. I so didn't know that. So you could be going to a new state and they won't know. <laughs> oh, no, I have more guilt now. <laughs> <laughs> when they pick you up and they're like, you're going to New Jersey. <laughs> 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 you cannot Uber from New York to New Jersey. It's like $80 minimum. <laughs> right, right, right. So, yeah, they... the, other, the other day I took a bus two stops <laughs> to get across the state line and then I took an Uber. <laughs> so yeah. it was like $10 instead. Wow. <laughs> that's crazy. It is crazy. Well, the prices of that of that is crazy. But back to what you're saying, I do agree because I've worked in hospitality, so like I know what it's like. But I do think that there are some people who just need to get a taste of their own medicine. You know, you can tell so much about how people treat other people by like, yeah. And and I think that a lot of the time it's like this privilege that people have that they think they can do that, and it's just no, you are not better than anyone at all. Else. Exactly. Yeah. They like. You may be like serving me my meal, but doesn't mean like there's a dynamic that like you're better than me or anything like right, that. Right, like you right. don't have any right to like treat someone like that. It's like I don't know. Yeah. Some people just like get very intense about like maybe they brought the wrong food. Like I'm the type of person who you can bring me like my, the complete wrong meal, something I'm allergic to, and I will not send it back. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you're allergic to it. You better. Send it I'm back. not really allergic to anything, but yeah. But the funny thing is, too, is like you see this in newspapers or like in the uh, ads or for whatever that, oh, some celebrity person just berated a waiter. And I'm like, that's so funny because half mm. of the people in show business worked in that exactly. industry. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, would it even work? Because do people forget and, about what it was like then, to that work in that That doesn't make sense to me, too, because everyone knows you. So why would you? <laughs> yeah. You're not like anonymous. Ooh. Like you're not Ask gonna, like, James Corden. Yeah. No, it's him. Just yeah. Got called out. Right. And he has this persona of being this like, lovely man who's so like, yeah. warm. And and that was like actually very upsetting for me. I was like, wow, he's an a-hole. That well, that's sucks. how you can tell. Exactly. Now it's yeah. like he's completely fake. Like, yeah. Not, yeah. Don't believe the facade. Yeah. I want to go back to what you said, um, like a minimum amount of time for, serv for people to work in service. Mm. So if this was like a government program <laughs> um, where they like placed people in jobs, uh -huh. um, what's the number one job that you want people in Ooh, Ooh that's, a that's a good question good. people that don't know how to treat other I people i like the right. idea of everyone getting like in the mail like where you're assigned yeah <laughs> it's Ooh. like it's like a jury duty thing yeah, yeah. yeah. and you're Ooh. like ah oh. yes. i think uh, maybe a busser yeah i was mm. gonna say that a busser yeah because you don't you don't get paid as much as a waiter but um, you basically are a but waiter. you do the same job you do the same much. exact yeah. job i think a busser Ooh, would be the that, yeah, that makes sense. As someone who was a former busser, former server, former waiter, I did a former host, I did it all. A busser is probably the, the number one thing I would rec I would not recommend. <laughs> I would force people to do uh, in this case because you you humble yourself a lot. Is there mm -hmm. a hierarchy within this industry? Because I was a host, so I was never in the back with the servers and right. like all of the bus the bussers and the busboys, whatever. 
do is it like is there like weird dynamics or is everyone back there the same because i've never been a part of that we're talking about for back house or front of house back of house i've always been front oh of i've house. always been front of house i've never been like really well, back house is, front of house um is like buses servers Hosts. and toasts yeah oh. yeah you're, you're part of front of house and back, back house, house is kitchen oh. and, uh, it's kitchen and stuff like that oh then maybe i just wasn't because where yeah. i was i never if you're was front facing the you're basically oh, okay, okay, front okay. of house but either but in general yeah it's it's i mean it's it, it's all difficult um but uh, yeah, definitely front of house stuff because you're you're dealing with customers f like front on. Um, that is the toughest part. And if and in terms of the hierarchy, I don't know. I felt like I always felt like host kind of got like the bottom <laughs> of it. They always treated hosts like I've, I've done it yeah. all. So they always treated yeah. hosts like lesser than. But um, I don't know. when I was a host, I got minimum wage, and when I was a busser or a server, I did not. So. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you're like in the back in the kitchen and stuff, do you, do they split the tips with everyone? Depends on the restaurant. Yeah, we okay. didn't net mine. Yeah, no, pulled. Never was it pulled? Tips, but neither did host. Did you? I was about to say host. We never. I yeah. never got. I wasn't allowed to get tips. Yeah, that's why we got minimum yeah. wage. I got some tips uh, under okay. the table. I did nice. too. But... <laughs> <laughs> not, not saying that legally. But... <laughs> oh, sorry, I missed that. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I'm trying to think. Do you guys think you can handle being a dishwasher? I was a dishwasher for a while. Do tell. Uh, it sucked. <laughs> oh my god! I just gosh. had to stay until it was done. Um, yeah. And the kitchen would like stay open late for people all yeah. the time. So I'm like, can I, I have math homework to do? Please let me go. <laughs> oh my god! Were you in high school? Yeah, it was in Jesus high school. Jesus Christ! <laughs> so yeah, that sucked. Maybe no. I f I feel like. For this purpose, it should be a front uh, customer facing yeah, position. I agree. So I, I don't agree. think dishes is right for that. I agree. I agree. I agree. Because then people will be less rude yeah, to each other. Yeah, you need to deal with people. Yeah. So get the, yeah. You, know, you should know how to treat them. And it's be also, a, a Starbucks barista. Right. Oh. I was, wait, you know what I did the other day? You know how I got that, that that gift card from Starbucks? Yeah. And I didn't understand, but you were right. It was only $4. Yeah. I thought I was going to get a free drink. And they were like, you owe $1.85. I was like, what? You guys <laughs> oh. So I was like, in my head, I was like, all right. But were you nice to the barista I was. about I it? I said to her, I was like, I was just, I was like, can you explain to me? Because I didn't understand. And she was getting annoyed explaining. I was like, all right, it's fine. I'll pay a dollar sixty-five or whatever. <laughs> right, right, so I just right. like paid for it. But Damn I was, straight you will. Yeah. I was like, all right, I'll pay for it. It's right, fine. right. And I wish more people knew that whatever that, the, whatever False the. False advertisement from Starbucks. <laughs> whatever the waiter or server, whatever they're doing is coming straight from the exactly. manager. It's all about policy. They, yeah. do, they have no choice. That's why, yeah, I would never take anything out on it. The people I serving honestly, me. Yeah, I honestly felt bad because I could tell she was having a bad day. Like, she was just very, mm -hmm. her energy was very off. So I could tell she was, like, not having a great day. And she was trying to explain to me. But then, like, I just asked her why. And she got very aggressive. So I was like, all right, you're having a bad day. Like, <laughs> we're good. I'll give you your, uh, I'm not going to ask. Right. But, yeah. And yeah. it's also the realization that you're one of hundreds. Exactly. That, she, that she's going to deal with today. Absolutely. So it's such a crazy thing. But so I, I think tapped out. I was like, I can tell this is not. A me thing, it's a you thing, and you're you deserve. To, we're gonna. It's good. So. How do you think the results would uh, fare? What do you think people would, would do? Uh, I think suicide rates would skyrocket. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think people would be nicer because, like, the people who are nicest to wait staff and stuff are people who have been in the industry. That is very so true. I think that people would just be nicer in general. That's true. I agree. I, f I feel like at first a lot of people would have a straight up meltdown. Yeah. Like within the first yeah. 20 minutes, like this table, table three, go on table one, mm -hmm. water the guests, blah, 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 blah. A lot of people have a straight meltdown, but eventually you will understand like what goes into this kind of business and then you'll be nicer at the end of it. That's so true. So, so true. I agree. Like I remember one time someone asked me what I was doing and I was like, oh, I'm a hostess at Bodega Negra. And they were like, oh, <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? Like, do you do anything else there? I was like, no, I'm the hostess. And I was like, fuck you. Yeah. Because, like, what are yeah. you doing that's so amazing? And even if you are doing something so amazing, don't do not do that. Exactly. Rude. <laughs> Quit. Yeah, don't do literally. It. <laughs> just, you don't deserve, you're not better. Exactly. Yeah. First of all, I just met a celebrity you're never going to meet. So, <laughs> yeah. bye. I feel you on that. I hate that. I hate so it. annoying. I got yelled at by James Corden, like, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do today? So who's the real winner? <laughs> <laughs> did he? I, I wonder. Did you think James Corden sang while he was like cursing him out, <laughs> like Harry? Yeah. If, if he was singing and cursing, that would be amazing. I, would, like, keep, keep yelling at me. I think I'd forgive it. <laughs> I think I would too. <laughs> Only if he hit all the notes. Only if he hit all the notes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this podcast is all about. This episode, rather, is all about you being nice to service workers. Be nice. They're, PSA. <laughs> yeah. PSA. They're just doing their best. A lot of them have uh, other aspirations they're going to, too. So, yeah, it'd be nice. So, this has been Zach Season, and my name is Suki. I'm Dominique. I'm Danielle. And I'm Autumn.
Bye.